Hello YouTube, welcome back. It's a new spring going on summer. It's a new camera angle and it's a new game for me to waste my time and yours discussing. For those of you that have seen my previous videos, you'll know that it has been War Machine heretofore about which I have spoken. But, um, you know, I have a terrible, notorious attention span and I like novel and new things. I love pretty shiny boxes with awesome stuff inside. I love tiny knives with which to open them. And so that's what we shall do now. This came moments ago in the mail via USPS. I ordered it via Amazon. It's a brand new copy of Castle Ravenloft. Dungeons and Dragons board game for one to five players, a cooperative board game. Um, hopefully, we'll get a lot of play out of this, um, and it'll be easier to get my friends into than War Machine, and cheaper for them to start playing as well, since everything we need is going to be right here in this box. Zoop. Don't look at me. We're going to protect my anonymity. All right, here it is. You can see it's a box. It's in a box shape, um, cubic, rectangular. Here's the back. I'm sure you can go to your local game store and read it for yourself. Here's the reflection of the computer that I'm talking to in the reflection of the game of the reflection of myself looking at the reflection of the game Woo! <clears throat> to the game. I'm going to chop it open. Still shrink wrapped. Uh, this actually took me just two days. I think I ordered it, um, ordered it Monday. Today is Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, whoever I ordered it from, kudos. If anyone wants to know who I ordered it from, below and we can talk about it. Otherwise, I'll assume that you don't care and you just want to see what's inside. So, without further ado, <laughs> inside is, of course, a rule book. I love the smell of new games. <sighs> rule book, shall we open it? Um, let's, oh, there's an introduction and an overview, both. Oh, gnarly. It's a very short rule book. It is, well, 15 pages, including this pretty rad werewolf here. Um, yeah, so there's a series of, of this type of game set in the Dungeons and Dragons universe. I chose Castle Ravenloft because I like, well, I like the undead, dead things. The other one came with a pretty nifty red dragon. Um, this one comes with an undead dragon. Spoiler alert, this one comes with an undead dragon. Here's the adventure book. Uh, looks like it comes with 13 adventures. Their setups are explained in this item. Thank you for that. Without the adventure book, there would be no, no, no adventures. Also, I believe there are more adventures on the website that you can download. And uh, they use the things already included in the game. And this is compatible with those other games in the Dungeons and Dragons board game series, which, you know, let's keep buying and spending money and I'll make more of these unboxings for you. Here's the tiles. Um, quality is, I don't know, whatever. They're not bad. When I was deciding on this game, I, I saw a lot of negative comments on the tiles. They are bland, boring, and I don't know that I disagree, but at the same time, they're they're workable, and you can tell that 
Wizards of the Coast. It says Wizards, right? Everything Dungeons and Dragons, Wizards of the Coast. Whoever is responsible for this, Wizards of the Coast, has put some thought and some money into these products. The card stock is, uh, has a matte finish, but not as high of quality as some of the, uh, oh, what is that other game company? Fantasy Flight. It doesn't have that nice, uh, glossy Mansions of Madness finish. Cards. Encounter cards. Well, of course it comes with cards. We'll have to read the rules to find out what they do. Up close. Hope the quality is not too bad on this. I can't tell from my angle if, if I'm even getting a good picture. I might have to put all these back in the box. If it turns out to be a bad recording, then we can have a fake unboxing. Miniatures. These got some giant zombie. Let's get him out of there. Ooh. We have some. Skeleton Warriors. Three of them. We've got some shambling zombies. Another thing I read in the reviews of these of this game is that the uh, the builds on the oops, the builds on the miniatures aren't very good, but uh, I think they're I mean, they're not the best. They're definitely not that Warhammer quality, but they're not bad. There's a big zombie, a Franken guy. I hope this turns out. It's not bad. There's there's quite a bit of detail in his clothing and, you know, in his, his uh, structure. And there's three gargoyles. And they actually look pretty cool, I think. There is a lack of detail that you would find in some other more expensive models. Well, these really aren't models. They're just miniatures. And it's not as fun as putting them together. So, I don't know what that is. What is that? Like Undead Chimera or something? I don't know, we'll find out. These are adventurers. No, what are these? I don't know. Oh, sure, they're adventurers. A rogue and a... I don't know, what is that? I'm 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 relatively new to the Dungeons and Dragons, especially the Ravenloft world. This is yeah, I'm not really into role-playing games, but this is just a cooperative board game, right? No, that's not great. Yeah, I would say that these, the builds on these are not nearly as good as the monsters. What are these? Oh man. What are we looking at? Nine minutes and twenty seconds. So I guess these are our undead spirits. Pretty cool. Oh what is that? It's a uh it's a Flaming ice zombie skeleton. It's pretty cool. It's not bad. Ah. So then there's those. I'll try to wrap this up. Since anything longer than 10 minutes is a pain in the butt to upload. 
No offense, YouTube. Oh, I'm not sure what this guy is. I haven't looked at these yet. I mean, obviously, I haven't looked at them yet. What is that? I don't know what that is. Ah! That's pretty cool. That's not a bad build at all, either. A werewolf and a guy. Oh. Touch gloves. Maybe I will just rebox this and have a, a, a re unboxing. And I'll try to be less of a stupid idiot. Just kidding. Here's rats. Look at that. It's a swarm of rats. That's pretty cool. Spider. Spider. What is this? Lizard dude. Spider. Man. I don't know. I don't know, but he's eating something delicious. And there's just a regular old puppy dog. Alright. Just a regular doop 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 doop. And this is the it's the big guy. He's like a skeleton zombie dragon. Wings are really close together. I guess he's a little bendy. It's still going to be a pain in the butt when I try to paint him. Um, there's a pretty gnarly seam right here that I'm not digging. Um, yeah, so generally I would say this is not a great build at all. I mean, there's just, there's seams, there's... Just uh, let's see if you can see that in there. Not good. A little disappointed. Um, but I guess it's not a painter's game so much as it's a uh, player's game. Here's a die that it came with. Just one. All right. Now I've got a mess, and you've got a new YouTube video to watch. Thanks.